Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm starting a new project today here. This is a book nook. And I've really been wanting to do a book nook. This is going to be the first one I'm doing. And I wanted to mention, I am doing, I do have it. This is the Luna, Luna Magic House. And I'm really excited about this one. I'm going to start it as soon as I finish that one. This is a really big build, you guys. And it's very witchy, very Halloweenery, And I'm really excited about it. And I know it's going to take a while. It can only work for, for so long before things start to get aggravated in my neck and shoulders. So, because I have three pinched nerves on this side and I side. I'm um, about to order a TENS unit and, and see if that helps because uh, this is not going away. Incoming call. No. Sorry. Sorry about that. I had an incoming call. I will have to take that later. So I'm going to start this build with the video um, like this for a little bit and then I probably will go back to time lapse just because I'm not as distracted constantly looking outside and you know <laughs> things like that uh, all right so let's see what we got in the box here and I, I guarantee you it's not gonna be that exciting watching me in real time do this because it takes a hot minute let me tell you so we've got stones off oh, blinded by the light Okay. Um, it's for real. Ooh, I see some circuit boards in here. Some sticks and stones, stuff. All right. Uh, what else? We got glue. I'm really hoping I can get this done in a couple of weeks. I really don't know. At least it just depends on how easy things go together. following along with the instructions, right? I, I screw up, human. Try not to. Ooh. Got some in there. Oh boy, <laughs> here come the instructions. All right, let me get this out of the way. And see the bigger chomps. See, it's just really hard to set up a camera to where you can see me and my build station because I can't really get it all in. So, let's take a look at this. I'm gonna make sure, okay, so we have a template. Make sure that you keep your templates because sometimes they get misplaced in the craziness that happens and you'll need this to specifically cut certain things to certain sizes. Ha! Oh, all right, paper accessories. Oh Lord, there is a lot. This is why I don't, I, I do time lapse because these aren't necessarily instructional videos. They come with instructions. This is, I do these videos mainly because I really love time lapse. I think it's fun watching something go super speed. And then you kind of get an idea of what all goes into the build. Should you decide you want to do one and you can use my affiliate links below for Timu. So you can get some and, and get some coupons going. So, yeah, there is, okay, there is a lot of, of these here. Yeah, a lot. And the paper is, let's see, it's thicker than a regular sheet of paper. And I wanted to mention, let me do this real quick. So this is the little cutting tool that I got uh, on Timu. And it does work great, but it does have a very fine tip. And because of that, I initially tried it with a thicker board and that didn't work so well. So it would be better for just regular thin paper and not so much the thicker things. Unless you had maybe a sturdier, like it didn't want to do well on this. So that's that. But it did do good overall. So I like to look at the contents real quick. Just kind of get an overview of what's going on inside the piece. We have some flexi. Some very thin flexi here. What else? Future 
Future World. I'm going to give this to my boy. Okay, cool. Future World World. That's funny. Phantom Book Cyberpunk. I'm just reading off the things here. It's pretty cool. I like it. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Oh, there's kitties inside. Meow. Warm reminder. Ollie. Oh, little tiny vending machine. That's cute. Game store. Convenience store. This is really cute. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? Stray. The, the game with the cats. My little boy left that. It was a really cute game. If you haven't heard of it or seen it, look up Jack Septic Eye. I love that. I watch my main gamers that I watch is Jack Septic Eye and Mark Clark. I love watching those two. This is really cool. I like this. Okay. So we can chit chat as we get this started, but like I said, this is not really not an instructional channel. This is more of kind of showing the whole process of how it's made um, in beautiful, wonderful time lapse. Because if you were to watch me do this in real time, we're looking at just where these small bottle jars, you know, combined. I mean, it can take in 14 hours. I'm not kidding. <laughs> It's crazy, but it's something you do just a little bit here and there, and you know, it's cathartic, and it's nice. Alright, so the first part says out frame sticking. Out frame sticking. So, this is for... See, this is not exciting. You don't really want to watch me do this, do you? I don't think so. You would just rather see it speedy weedy. That's what I'm about to switch this to. Because then, you know, if I'm just narrating and, and you know, looking at my lovely face, um, we're not getting to business here. I've already been yammering for almost eight minutes and uh, literally got zero done. So, but I am wanting to really look over these. Um, pieces before I get started. So I'm going to rearrange my table to where I'm comfortable again. And, you know, if you want to see more of me in these videos, please let me know in the bottom. Um, I don't mind doing that, but it does kind of make it a little more difficult to actually do what I want to do here. But anyway. So if you would like to see more of actually me in the videos, let me know in the comments in the bottom and maybe we can work something out. I don't know. <laughs> so let's get to the actual build. 